Hi YouTube, this is the President Michael back with an autograph mail day video. Um, for the most part, actually all of it, it's uh, just some purchases. Uh, first let me show you some political pickups. I have these three different letters I bought that were signed by three different congressmen. Well, congresswoman and two congressmen back in the 70s. And these were really mm, pretty cheap. Surprisingly, it's kind of hard to find these cheap now because a lot of people think, oh, it's um, a letter signed by a congressman or senator. Must be worth a lot. These letters aren't actually worth a lot. And not a huge amount of collectors out there that collect these things. So if I see them, I get them. You know, I haven't been looking as much in the last several months. Anyways, the first one, this is Edward G. Biester, Jr., uh, 8th District, Pennsylvania. This is dated October 14, 1975. Um, he was invited for some National Association of Supervisors annual retirement dinner. Come on, focus. There you go. The next one is to Helen Maynard. And this was actually a request um, that she was responding to for an autograph. This was dated October 7, 1976. Uh, she was the 13th District, New Jersey. And the final one is Tim L. Hall. He was the 15th District, Illinois. And it's also in response to um, somebody who requests an autograph. This is from November 19, 1975. Uh, a few uh, autograph book pickups. Actually, found these today found at the store. I didn't have much time to really look. I only had about 20 minutes, but I found, let's see, one, two, three, four signed books, and I picked up a couple unsigned ones I'll show you. But this is Not Guilty, From Convict to Christian, The Jim Dykus Story, by Jim and Barbara Dykus, and signed by Jim. This is Timothy Leary, a biography by Robert Greenfeld. Oh, and the, the uh, prices for these, like this one, the first one was like 25 cents, but at this store, you buy one, you get one free. So they make you pay for the more expensive one. The cheaper one is free. I'm not sure which one of these was the one I actually paid for, and the ones I got free was a different amounts. Still pretty cheap. This one was three. Haven't looked for books like this in quite a while. I actually got a couple copies of this book, and this was practically the last book I looked at. This is The Mr. and Mrs. Happy Handbook by Steve Ducey. Actually, I actually found copies of this book online. Very cheap. What was it for a penny that was signed? Or a dollar? Was that either one of the two? Now these people, whoever got this book and the others, they have that going out of their way with getting it signed. And then why give it up? I don't know. I mean, do situation change, I guess. But I'm happy to get them. And the best one. This one was a little bit more expensive. This was six bucks, but still really good. This is Paul Anka with David Dalton, and it's signed by Paul Anka. I got his autograph before on eight by ten a couple times. Pretty cool. This is a good one. Let me show you what I got that was unsigned. Here is the Sopranos, the book. 
special collector's edition. I, you know, I thought about because I have a lot, well, several people that was on The Sopranos, especially the main cast, including Gandolfini. Maybe ever getting um, taking some of them and sticking them in the book. Can't do Gandolfini because he's on a playbill. I'm definitely not going to cut that out. I do have several of them on index cards. So maybe I'll stick them in here. I don't think I'll do this one. I'm pretty sure that there is a um, hardback version of this book. So that is probably what I'll do is get the hardback. Maybe stick it in there. Maybe. We'll see. I suppose I could just take the whole playbill and just put it in here. Maybe I'll do that. But if I do, it'll be in the hardback. And there's some other key members of the cast I need to get. So I do have quite a bit of them. Used to get them back in the day. Oh, this one is Dirty Sexy Politics. This is by Megan McCain, John McCain's daughter. I may try to get a book plate from her or maybe send the book. Since I like political related stuff, I thought this would be cool. I was hoping it was signed, but it wasn't. And at the same store, they had this sealed set. It's a 1990 score. This is only $10, so I thought it was pretty darn good. New sets today are like at least 50. So I'm pretty happy to have I actually had one of these when I was a kid. I still have it, but I think I opened it. So now I have a sealed one. They're not worth particularly a lot, I don't think, but still cool to have. I think it's a whole set for 10 bucks. I mean, you pay the cheapest now for a new pack of cards is probably $2. And that's, you don't see too many of them anymore. Usually $3.54 for a, just a plain pack. So, alrighty, that is it. Um, yeah, that's it. If you have any comments, questions, please put them below. I'm always happy to answer questions. I look forward to talking again soon, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Bye. Okay, I forgot to show one more thing in the video that I got at the store with the signed books. They had this really cool Chicago White Sox jersey. It only cost $8. And it's genuine merchandise. I don't think it's an official like game used one. But it's in perfect shape. It's not dirty or nothing. It is uh the label's kind of worn on back. So it ha has has been worn, but the jersey itself, other than the label, doesn't look like it really has been used much. See it looks kind of worn. But still in excellent shape. Here who it is. Was it Aparicio? And it's a uh, 2X, which is good. So it fits really well on me then. I'm a bit of a, a little bit of a big boy. I'm just a, t a tad, a smidgen overweight. Just, just, just this much. So this fits well for that. Well, you can see me, you know, but uh, I like it, and only eight dollars, which is pretty cool. Something like this would be a lot more if you bought it brand new from uh, the actual team. I bought at spring training years ago for the Indians. I bought a uh, authentic jersey, Travis Hafner, I think it was. I really wanted one really bad. I paid a hundred dollars for it, I believe, at the time. It's a lot. And somebody draws on it when I was getting an autograph. I think they did it on purpose. But it's still in very good shape. You know, a hundred bucks is a lot of money. But I really, really wanted it. So I got it. And it's just like the one he wore. So I thought it was pretty cool. And I actually met him a couple times. Very quiet man. Not very talkative. But still, it was cool to meet him. Anyways, I want to show you that jersey. I'll just attach this to the autograph video. So, this will be all together. Okay, that is it. Thanks again. Bye.